What's up, Aquarius? Okay, my babies. Okay, I'm only doing you and Scorpio's reading individual because, of course, Aquarius is my sun sign. Scorpio is my rising, okay? So for my Aquarius, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> if you guys do have any Scorpio placements um, or you're done with the Scorpio, go check out. That's what I was about to say alchemy but go check out the scorpio reading um y'all also could be dealing with the capricorn or an aries or there could be placements of yeah that uh, i was picking up on aquarius scorpio what i just say aquarius scorpio aries <laughs> anyway okay so for my aquarius okay what's going on you guys i feel like we are in a process of alchemy or we're moving and transitioning into that process. Maybe these last couple of months have been a little bit rickety. I do feel something happened on that retrograde for you guys that was very transformational. For those that don't have Scorpio or Taurus placements, I feel like you might still be in this grief process. For those that do, I feel like for those that do have those placements, um, I feel like you're in the place where things are transforming. However, it doesn't matter how you spin it, flip it, or rub it down. I, I find you guys crying your last tear, grieving your last loss, okay? So it's almost like, I'm not saying that nothing else is not going to happen, but it's almost like you guys are at the end point of fully releasing what it is that has been burdening you. And I'm thinking of the frog when I look at this, the lily pad. I, I'm almost seeing you guys, it's almost like you got kind of lost your footing on something. Because when I look at this, I think of a circle and some of it falling away. It's almost like you guys step, lost your footing. I see one foot off of the lily pad, one foot on. But you guys are now regaining your posture, regaining your stance. Someone here could do yoga. Also, y'all, it could be because I was just... um channeling another energy but something about smino's new song y'all know i love me some smino okay um i deserve it please go look into that someone could have been listening to that like that's the that's what i'm channeling it's almost like you guys have been going through a rough process something might have happened um either in august up until now and 222 was just on the clock or on my um camera when i said that and it's like you guys are trying to push past it you're at the point where you're like, you know what, I deserve happiness. We also have discovering happiness here. So through these um, burdens, you guys are going to come on top. There were lessons that had to be learned. Some of you guys are still harboring some type of resentment, I see. And we also have anchoring the light. So yes, Aquarius, it's going to be very important for you guys to regain some type of footing. I'm going to look more into what your advice is with that. But I see you guys going through a huge healing process, okay? We have my losses prove how deeply I loved. I allow myself to be content exactly as I am, finding confidence in yourself and your body. And we also have the light is always within me. Yes, I do feel like you guys kind of had a, a, a dark night of the soul or like a mini one. Like something happened, a tower moment. And I feel like we're at the place where we're regaining our footing, which is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to look at why some of these things happen. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed. The energy is not overwhelming. But I got a couple more um, videos I want to do because I think I'm only going to do you and Scorpios individually. Oh, yes. Look at that. The hangman and the three of pentacles. I touch on it. But yeah, I think I'm only going to do you guys' reading individually. And then I'm going to do a full blown like all the zodiac signs. Like what's going on for November since I'm late. Um, but this is giving me like when I tap into your energy, I'm literally picking up on the star card number 17 someone could be born on the 17th like myself something with the number seven the number one and also the number six or 111 is going to be very important or 11 but um i feel like you guys have been pushed to a certain limit for example something happened to me um during my therapy process where i was just at and it was very traumatic okay um, I did gain a lot of knowledge, but I had a terrible therapist at this location and it was during retrograde. However, what I will say is, although it was very traumatic for me, that incident, it finally forced me to really go back to childhood because I had opened up to this therapist because um, I was trying to like give it a chance and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go in here. And this wasn't my normal therapist because I had to go to a facility. I'm like, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to like really take it from the bottom. Ooh, man, when I tell y'all what this lady did, she mishandled. 
she gonna get hers. But anyway, um, but if it was a transitional moment for me because it kind of showed me what I have not healed in childhood and it did give me a different perspective although whoever was throwing the shade and doing what she was doing although she was a terrible therapist and I'm not taking that back that's still something that I'm processing now with my true therapist but it helped me to open up to okay we need to re-examine this and start looking at the root working on the root um the lower chakras that's kind of where, where I see you guys at it's like it's giving me a a true healing not just oh you guys are healing no it's like a deep healing that's where I see you guys kind of going and if some things did happen recently that's why it happened because there's some things that we were kind of glossing over that we needed to revisit okay what's um let me see why did some of those um actions occur I don't know why I was about to say items maybe someone stole something from you we have the four of cups okay so when I look at the Four of Cups and I think of the Pisces, the Hangman, some of you guys have been very stagnant, okay? Um, others of you, there's a lot of, I got two different storylines here. There's almost like a discontent feeling with where you're at. Y'all definitely might want to tap into Scorpio's reading for sure, even if you don't have the Scorpio placements at this point because this is resonating. There's almost like a discontent or just being like, Bleh. like I, I know I could be doing better, but there's also a little bit of confusion. It's like there's a lot of like, manifesting visually or like verbally or like uh scripting there's a lot of that but it's like are you getting up and actually doing the work or are you kind of staying stagnant and comfortable that's for some for others the reason why these events happen is so that it could cause some type of shakeup so you can get back into this magician energy because you guys are a manifester a master manifester and some of you guys kind of like went off the radar you know kind of like it's almost like it's giving me oh like i've been lacking on studying the moon phases i've been lacking on my spirituality i've been lacking and fell off of my routine it was a lot of that whole lot of fuck shit right but with this four of cups transitioning into the magician i find where you guys have went through something and you guys are now harnessing your power self-mastery i see you guys literally collecting everything that has happened forming it into this ball and literally using that to your advantage it's almost like i see you using this ball, connecting like a little handle to it, and then that's your wand. Like, this is what's gonna help you to project your power to manifest what it is that you want. You guys have now gained some type of knowledge. Some of you guys have unlocked something. I don't know why I just heard pineal gland, but there was an unlock that happened. Mmm. For some of you guys, it's something to do with the right hemisphere of the brain. But for others, I feel like it's the left. So whatever side you were lacking on, whether masculine or feminine, um, it's almost like that unlocked something for you so that you can start to balance certain areas of your life out. So for some of you guys, this is healing the masculine, healing the feminine, um, healing from a mother relationship, um, healing from a father's relationship, okay? Um, what are they manifesting? What the magician? Yes. So just so you guys know, and this is not for you to get comfortable, but it looks to me as if you are manifesting something new with this Ace of Cups, a new emotional situation because you aren't satisfied. You guys are going to be transitioning into a period where you're going to start to see the lights. For some of you guys, it has already happened. But what I am hearing, Aquarius, is do not... Y'all know I'm always on here and I'll be hyping us, but no, this is serious. Do not get comfortable. Let's see what could stop this manifestation from coming through or block the manifestation or make it come in slower. What could... We have the Six of Wands. Give me one second. Why the Six of Wands? That's a good card. Let's see. Judgment. And then one more. Because I think I'm catching a vibe here. And the Six of Pentacles. So let me take that back a little bit. I don't know, y'all. I feel like y'all are destined to be successful. But being that this is coming out as a block, what I'm hearing for you guys is literally your worst enemy could be staying in the past with this judgment card. Looking at the wake up calls and not being like, okay, boom, okay, that shook me up. I'm good to go. No, it's like, oh, fuck, that shook me up. What the fuck? Why would that shake me up like that? It's a whole lot of that. I'm also picking up on for some of you guys. This won't resonate with everybody, but try to stay humble as you're reaching this point of success. Some of you guys might not have an issue with that. I do understand that people have done you wrong and it can be hard to stay in that humble energy when so many people have done you so dirty. But don't 
do that because y'all know y'all ancestors. Y'all know God's going to snatch it from you as quick as God gave it to you if, you if you play around. That's for two. For three, something else that could really hinder your growth is your mindset around money and also your abundance. With that six of pentacles, it's almost like there's an illusion around what is owed to you, what you can accomplish. It's almost like you guys um, sell yourself short. When I think of the six of coins, I think of someone giving, you know, evenly, but it's almost like it's not... It's not balls to the wall for me. It's not like giving it your all. It's like I'm half giving this to you. I'm giving this to you. You're spreading it out. So that could be another message, Aquarius. This might be a time where you guys need to go in isolation and really focus on yourself. Let me see what your advice is. Some of you guys need to keep a lot of things to yourself at this moment. Not everybody needs to know the plan. Please go uh, watch uh, what's it called? Aquarius is reading. Okay, why the three of cups? Okay. We have the world card, oh man, and the justice card. Okay, separate message. Some of you guys have a Libra or a Sagittarius or um, a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or a Scorpio, Capricorn, okay, any sign at this point. Um, there's some type of energy here that I feel like you may feel or they may feel like you guys have unfinished business. We have the four of wands, the three of cups, the world card in reverse and the justice sign. So someone here feels like there has been some type of unfinished business. There's some things that still need to be discussed. So I see some type of reconciliation coming in and there's going to be some type of truth or clarity around this situation. This could also be someone learning a lesson. But I'm almost picking up on someone wants to come in. There's going to be an opportunity here for you to recounsel with um, somebody that you feel like you have unfinished business with or there has been a lack of closure. Why this world card in reverse? For others that have been um, having a hard time completing tasks, I'm finding that what's going to happen for you is that you guys are going to be blessed. Oh, look at that. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You guys are going to be blessed with a lot of that Mars, determined, fiery, passionate, creative energy. Going back to the lower chakras, there's going to be a lot of healing around the sacral chakra. Okay, with this Queen of Wands and this Knight of Wands, though, there's somebody here. I don't know which energy you guys are, but there's... I don't, all I'm going to say, y'all, y'all have a potential to have some type of real passionate outburst with somebody. There's like a reconciliation here. Bo both of y'all energies are coming up as like a fire energy or there's just a lot of passion. But I just want to mention one person is coming up as the Queen of Wands. The other one is coming up as the Knight of Wands. So keep that in mind. Okay. Some of you guys could also benefit from having a little bit more fun. Let's see what's going on with career. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Working hard. Working hard. Um, but some of you guys feel like you have the, like there's a missing piece. Some of you guys are not happy in your career, yep, with the Five of Swords. You guys are split between, it could be multiple um, career routes or it could be two different career routes. It's like there's a lot up in the air and you guys are really debating on if you're going to cut a certain part of your career out of the path, which, for example, not being in this job, leaving this job, choosing something totally different or maybe taking a different position. I see where you guys are working on a plan or trying to strategize and look at the intricate details of a situation, um, the possible outcomes and really putting that together so that you guys can make a decision. But with this five of swords, I do see where you guys are thinking about cutting something out. Okay. With this ace of wands. Yeah. A lot of you guys want something new in career. Give me more about that five of swords. What's going on with this Five of Swords? Watch um, Sneaky Coworkers for some of you guys. We have the Three of Wands and we have the Hermit. Yep, watch for Sneaky Coworkers. Again, please go watch Scorpio's reading. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, the Hermit card, and the Three of Wands. Going back to what I said about that manifestation energy, there's a lot of things around you guys that is coming together to work in your favor as if it was your wand or like what's going to give you that push. I keep seeing a magic wand from the Disney it's like that ball is like the top of it and then it has a little stick it's almost like it's your leading light with this three of wands and this hermit though your next moves don't tell nobody about it Aquarius don't tell nobody about it all I'm gonna say about that y'all have to go watch Scorpio's reading that's what's gonna bring you the most abundance there's abundance coming in you guys are gonna be in this Queen of Pentacles energy whether masculine or feminine but there is a need for you guys to literally have some time for isolation do some reflection 
through this you are going to gain wisdom and then with this three of wands you're going to look back and be able to reflect from a clear mind and say okay this is what i need to do next okay so you guys will find answers through isolation and really focusing on yourself we also have midwife okay let me see i gotta go to the book for this one Y'all ain't really gonna think that about. Hmm. Okay. The midwife blows gently on the sparks of our ideas, encouraging us to carry concept to fruition. She welcomes our bursts and our struggle to breathe. She feeds our nerve ending hunger for truth. And she wraps us in consolation when our finest dreams collapse. Her knife cuts the umbilical cord that sets in motion our coil-sprung carbon and calcium hearts. She has helped launch million, a million creations. She has fed the hungry artists and held the hand of the mothers and father. The midwife brings an old knowledge to the table. Her wisdom travels back through all history, and her gift is one of understanding. She will help you separate cliche from originality, significance from sentiment, and passion from hedo Hedonism. I don't know if that's the word. She is the good mother, wise and calm in times of danger. She carries in her chest the seeds of beauty, vitality, and life. So that's a message right there. But what that was giving for me is that it's almost like you guys need to safeguard. There could be a lot of healing happening around your inner child. But the thing that you are creating, you need to safeguard it. For others, and this could be both of the messages, when I think about that and I think of cutting the umbilical cord, I think of cutting yourself away from what's comfortable. If you guys did have a toxic parental figure, cutting yourself from from those um toxic beliefs and starting anew okay that's what's going to bring you abundance so let's see the rest of november any other details for um, my aquarius the rest of november oh my gosh we have interlude i just heard the story's not over so don't get stuck in what's going on right now um, just know there's more to come. We have pause, timing factor. We have petty, jealousy, envy, gossip. Yeah, I was picking up on that. There's like a group of three or there's just people that have your name in their mouth. I'm going to try to look into that. We have synchronicity, signs, 111, well, 1111, 222, infinity. And we also have racing, running, and avoiding. Okay, um, Aquarius... Um, I don't know what's going on here. Let me see what's going on with this gossip because I'm almost feeling like you guys Okay, if there are people trying your patience, please do not Lower yourself to those lower vibrations. I do feel like there's a little bit of evil eye on you Which is nothing to be scared of but also with this running and avoiding whatever you guys are trying to avoid Let me see what that is. What are my Aquarius is trying to avoid? Um, we have the mother of swords. I don't know if you guys are literally um, avoiding Having a firm conversation with someone, um, doing this reflection, standing in your power, setting boundaries, cutting somebody off, um, really looking at the wisdom and using it for good. Or I don't know if this is literally, literally you guys avoiding um, something with a mother figure that needs to be said. But um, yeah, with this two of pentacles, you guys also, it's almost like there's a, a transformation happening, but you guys aren't ready to come out the cocoon. So I need for you guys, the infinity symbol is very prominent here. I need for you guys to really muster up the courage to get past this hump so that you can get to this queen of pentacles. With the nine of wands, you are literally almost there, but there are some lessons that needed to be learned. That's why your path is a little bit harder. Some of you guys might have like heavy Saturn placements. That's where I'm getting that Capricorn coming through. But even with Aquarius, I look at that being also, you know, kind of ruled by Saturn. But anyway, it's like, don't chase illusions, chase the truth. Okay. With this wheel of fortune, there's going to be a change of events that are going to occur, but you guys cannot get comfortable also I'm, I'm picking up on there needs to be a cleanup of some sort this could be the house but there's also like a friendship let me see what's going on with the gossip what's happening here maybe that's just it's just people are gossiping yes fertility so there's a lot of fertile growth it's almost like i'm getting you guys being pregnant or birthing something like an idea or even a human and there's a need for you to really safeguard your energy we also have communication, okay? So you guys are definitely going to be gaining some type of communication from somebody. Some of you guys, it's a new love interest. And we also have happiness. Okay, so that's what you guys are going into. Let me see who's just gossiping. I cannot let that go. 
Okay, whoever's gossiping, gossiping about you, this could be a mother figure, this person could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, it's someone that I feel like you guys are not in contact with, but this person is so jealous and just literally, let me see, I know somebody wants to know. It's almost like this person is very jealous of you. Um, this person could have been keeping like a lot of secrets. I'm picking up on a real nasty energy, especially with that have coming um, in reverse. Maybe you found out something about this person. What's going on with this moon card? I feel like this is someone that is not around you. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Don't mind me. With that eight of wands, right? There's like a group of people that talk about how you're different. So we don't even have to worry about this, but I feel like this streak is y'all. You guys are just naturally eccentric, and I feel like you guys are meant for success. Um, but there's just a lot of people that are looking at you. You have that star quality. And Aquarius... It's almost crazy because there's good stuff coming out in your reading, but I feel like there's like a, a lower energy right now. And I feel like that's because you guys are mainly focusing on the negative instead of focusing on what's to come. That's for some of you guys. For others that are out of that energy and you're like, I'm past that. With this attraction and happiness and communication, I see you guys getting back on your grind, getting back into routine. Sacral chakra is looking good. Root chakra is looking good. That um, intuition is going to be on point. And I see a lot of people wanting to come in and talk to you. Okay, let's see. Who else is coming in to my Aquarius? Yeah, look at that. I told y'all. The Ace of Cups, the Father of Cups, and we also have... The Eight of Swords. What did I say earlier, y'all? I said, like, it's almost like there's someone in a cocoon that's not wanting to come out. There's someone coming back. They could be a, a water sign, a Scorpio. I'm picking up on a water sign or an air sign. Um, I feel like they've been in hiding. If they've been ashamed of something that they've done or somebody here, it's almost like someone has been ashamed. They've had some time to think. They're thinking about coming back to you. Right now, they might not be taking action, but there's a lot of thought around this. They're just trying to get themselves together. So this could be somebody literally trying to be in this caterpillar mode where they're trying to get themselves together. They're trying to muster up the courage. They're trying to get their money right, okay? So that's that. So if y'all haven't heard back from somebody, it's because they're like not ready just yet, but I do see somebody coming in. But also I see new love coming in too, someone that's very mature. This could even be two options or an ex that has transformed their energy. Anything else for my Aquarius? So a lot of air energy here. What y'all thinking about? Five. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm tripping. We got that four of cups again. Five of swords, four of cups. And look at that. The Ten of Cups. Whatever you guys are fantasizing about, it's like in order for you to get to that, you're going to have to do something new, Aquarius. You can't sit in this comfortable seat all the time. You have to literally cut things out and make the necessary sacrifices so you can get to what it is that you want, okay? It's no more playing it safe. Playing it safe is not helping you right now at all. And it's not going to help you. So let's see. Anything else from my Aquarius? I had to be a little tough today on y'all. Let's see. I nurture the child within me. I am complete, whole, and secure. I told y'all something about that inner child, so maybe that's something that needs to be revisited. My Aquarius. Aquarius. Also, you guys, the next, um, I'm about to make a video. I don't know what's gonna, what it's going to be titled, but look for the video that I'm going to post. Um, it's going to be like an almost personal reading um, about trust. Watch that, and then also you might want to tap in when I do the all zodiac signs like what's coming for the rest of November because I feel like this was more talking about one thing but we'll touch on like the last part of November it's going to be more specific or more focused on just like what's left we also have I hear benevolent messages loud and clear I am my own healer and that's it you guys can really bring yourself up out of this you've done it before so there's a need for you guys to get the rest that you need but just know the only way that you're going to come out of this time period where you're not content with what's going on you're not satisfied is by getting the fuck up okay so yes my aquarius that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and i'll see you guys in the comments